Hi everyone, welcome to another Tranquility Base video. In today's video, we're gonna be cleaning my wheels and tires using a selection of car chem goodies. We're gonna get the tires dressed and we're gonna get the wheels protected just to see them through. Uh, so stick around, enjoy this one. Uh, I'm gonna run through just the process first. So the main body of the video is that. I'm gonna give my thoughts and my review at the end of this video. So if you're interested in whether or not these are worth buying, then you'll find the answer hopefully there. Before we get going, if I can ask you just to pause for a second and uh, maybe give us a thumbs up, a thumbs down, leave a comment, or if you've not yet, please do subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it helps us to grow, so be very grateful if you could do that for us. With that said, let's begin. So the goal in today's video is to get the wheels washed up. Uh, we're going to get some protection put on those once they're done. We're going to scrub all the brown out of the tyres and then get that dressed up as well. First, I'm gonna just get all of the loose stuff rinsed off the surface with a pressure washer. We've done our prep work already, got the wash solution all mixed up. We've got our tools laid out. We've got our brushes, wheel woolies, wheel mitt and chemicals all ready to go. First thing I'm gonna do is a liberal application of the all clean to all the surfaces. So we're talking wheel, tire and wheel arch. Uh, important not to miss that area. Uh, and then whilst we're letting that sit on the wheel, we're gonna go ahead and just scrub the tires out. Uh, sometimes this can take me multiple goes just to get the tire to a state that I'm happy that it is clean. Uh, a good visual indicator for yourself is the color of the foam as you're scrubbing the tire. Uh, you can see we're very, very brown at this stage. Uh, and then just after multiple hits, eventually you'll see the foam scrub out be nice and white uh, and that's a good indication that you've got a lot if not all of the dirt out of that tire face. Now I'm going to move on to the arches so again more all-purpose cleaner uh, and then we're just going to work through with the Viking brush uh, and get as far back uh, obviously being careful of anything that we don't want to knock aggressively uh, it's quite easy to bash that brush around in this area so I'm just going to be very careful and working my way uh, through and round all of the nooks and crannies uh, and getting off anything that will willingly come off with the all-purpose cleaner. And now at this stage I'm going to rinse that through uh, I'm also just going to blast off uh, the wheels as well there will be a softening pre-wash type effect uh, from the all clean on the wheels uh, so just giving them a thorough rinse at this stage and then going back in with more of the chemical uh, it costs you very little extra time, but it is worth it uh, just in the long run. Now I'm going to start from the wheel barrel and work from the back of the wheel uh, to the front. Uh, so for me, that's always then the large wheel will eat just for the biggest areas. I'll then move down to the medium size, which fits nicely between the caliper and the wheel. Uh, and once I've done that, then I'm going to move on to the wheel face uh, with a selection of brushes and the wash mitt as well. And here I'm just being sure with the wash mitt to uh, give the spokes a bit of a reach around. Uh, just make sure that I get the dirt from the back. looking better already. Here you're seeing uh, the correct way to use an iron fallout remover. Uh, so this should really be used once you've got uh, the dirt off as I'm demonstrating here uh, and just allowing this product to work on the embedded uh, particles uh, which is really uh, just smart practice to give you the best performance for the product for your money. Uh, and now I'm just gonna let it dwell and do its thing. Lovely. Whilst we let that dwell there, it's time for the Instagram shot. Uh, so this is the incorrect way to use uh, a fallout remover, um, but it does look pretty cool. So liberal application onto a completely unrinsed and dry wheel. You're gonna get the full effect of the color change. 
One thing this will demonstrate is the potency of the product. Uh, so these products, although they come pH neutral in the bottle, they are acid based. So as they react, uh, they're gonna eat into the brake dust that's on there. And you're gonna see that once we rinse it off, just how effective it has been at that stage. And as you can see, it does reasonably well. Now, meanwhile, on the other side of the car, I'm just going to work through with the detailing brush to agitate the uh, iron remover into extra areas that it may not have got into, but also just to try and disturb out some of the dissolved particulates, see if we can get them removed from the surface. And now we just allow it to sit for a while longer now that it's been agitated. Uh, and then after that, I'm just gonna rinse it away. So in an ideal world, these wheels do need a full and thorough decontamination. So that would be tar remover and claying, and then following that up with some polish. Uh, but in this instance, that's not the plan for this video. Uh, so the finished shots do bear that in mind. And finally, I'm just gonna get some protection put onto the wheels. I'm gonna use the Hydra Seal for this, uh, for simplicity more than anything. Uh, simple spray, dwell and rinse. Uh, you don't let it dwell for too long, uh, just enough to uh, let it get into all the areas and then pressure wash off. And whilst I do that, you're gonna see the water start to have uh, more of a hydrophobic effect uh, that's it really just being repelled from the surface and showing the protection that's now been applied. And finally, uh, just time to get the tires dressed up. Uh, no matter how clean your wheel is, a dirty looking tire will always draw the eye. Uh, so now that it's been cleaned and dried, uh, it's just time to put some dressing into it. And you can just see it gives a darkening effect and really just sets off the cleaned faces of the wheel. And now I'm just going to complete the other side. Can't drive around with half a dress tire. And that is job done. Uh, so that's the process. Now uh, we're gonna cut back to me in the kitchen uh, just to give my thoughts on the products in use. So I hope you enjoyed watching that, uh, but how do we think these products here fared? Uh, for the review, we're gonna look at four of the products featured. So that is the All Clean, the Hydra Seal, the Iron Detox, and the uh, Tire and Trim Dressing. Uh, the shampoo, although it does feature, is gonna be in the wash video, which is in the next one. Uh, so we'll hold our thoughts back on that one just for now. The All Clean itself comes relatively ready to use. Uh, anything that comes 500 mil with a spray head kind of infers that's the case. Uh, and my thoughts on that type of product has always been the same and that is that they're a very poor value for money option. Uh, it's not to say that the product in its ready to use form isn't strong or it's bad, uh, but honestly when you can get for double the money, uh, 10 times the product which can be heavily diluted down, then all of a sudden 500ml looks to be a bit of a bag over the head. 
We did dilute it down as the instructions say is possible and in this video we ran it at 4 to 1 dilution ratio uh, throughout and at that ratio it does a fair job. It's not the strongest, not the most potent. I'd describe it as a relatively gentle cleaner so if that's something that's high up on your list of needs then by all means go for it but if you are looking for something that is going to move dirt at a good rate uh, and can be diluted further and thus be a better value for money option then I don't think this is going to be the one for you. The tyre and trim dressing, uh, now this is a bit of an odd one because Carchem do a standalone tyre dressing as well as this product uh, and we have used it on trim which again in the next video we'll look at how that fared but as a standalone tyre product it leaves quite a shiny sheeny finish which on personal preference alone isn't for me. If that's the type of finish that you like then you won't be disappointed uh, and the durability was there for a couple of weeks so it did stick around uh, at least if that is the type of finish you're after, the durability is good. Uh, it's quite a liquid product, so if you're spraying it onto the tyres, you're going to see it drift down the side of the car. So a little word of caution there, you better to apply it onto an applicator. Uh, but if you are after this type of finish, then go for it. I think you'll like it. The Iron Detox. Uh, it's difficult to review these types of ones because it, they tend to work, albeit just at different paces. This one does the job, you get a good colour change, you can see it is dissolving uh, the iron as it goes. Uh, maybe not the most potent, uh, certainly not the worst smelling out of all these products. Uh, if you are placing an order with car chem and you may be in need of it, then putting some in your basket isn't going to disappoint. Uh, but for me, it's not something that I'd likely reach for again once used. And finally, the Hydra Seal. Uh, not a standalone wheel protector, but it should be competent enough in this area. Uh, it does protect, it gave me a week or two of protection uh, before it got swamped by brake dust, so in that regard it did pretty well. Uh, the beading on it isn't the strongest out of all these types of products seen, uh, but you can clearly see on application and then rinse that protection is being applied, and it's nice to see that in really difficult areas like a front wheel that it does stick around. So all in all, to review these four products together, I described them largely as pretty alright, competent in what they're there to do, uh, but nothing really groundbreaking from CarChem. Uh, if you are looking to add a new range just for the sake of buying reasonably priced uh, or you know supporting CarChem as a company, then if you buy them, I would describe that you're not going to be disappointed in what you buy. However, if you're looking for a new favourite or something that's going to knock an old favourite off its perch, I don't think you're going to find it from these here. The all-purpose cleaner simply isn't strong enough. The Hydra Seal is good but again nothing revolutionary there. Uh, the tyre and trim dressing is okay if you like that type of finish uh, and uh, the iron detox again is pretty middling in terms of its ability. So all in all not a bad bunch, uh, not a fantastic bunch, uh, competent and uh, able is probably the best way I could describe it all. Uh, so do with that information as you will. Uh, if you scoop them up and you think I'm wrong uh, then tag me in any post that you might put up and tell me where I was out of line. I'd be curious to hear all your thoughts. But if not, stay tuned. The next video coming up is more car cam and we're going to look at it all through the main car wash process. We'll see you all soon.